We learned this week that the disaster at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi power plant was much worse than we thought. Turns out, after last spring's tsunami, one reactor suffered a meltdown. Lucy Kraft shows us just how close it came from burning into the earth. Recently, reporters got their first look at the devastation left in the wake of the accident. Heavily reinforced buildings had been torn to shreds after a series of meltdowns and explosions. But as we found out this week, the damage was even worse. Reactor number one almost had a full meltdown. A new report revealed that molten nuclear fuel burned through the eight-foot concrete walls of the first protective casing surrounding the reactor's core, and then ate three-quarters of the way through the second casing. The meltdown stopped within a foot of the container's steel bottom. Masanori Naito is a nuclear engineer who has reviewed the plant's findings. It was a close call, he says. The meltdown may have been even worse, but we can say the containment held. Held, according to the report, because of the huge efforts to dump a continuous flood of seawater in the reactors to cool the nuclear cores. If it had burned through, it would have contaminated the groundwater in the soil. No one knows how far it would have spread. One man who has experienced the accident firsthand was Yukio Takayama, a veteran firefighter who was sent to Fukushima six days after the accident. He says, it reminded me of a haunted house, total silence, billowing smoke, eerie. With fires, you can feel the heat or smell the gas. At Fukushima, it was all the more frightening because the danger was invisible. So far, he has no signs of radiation poisoning, nor do any of the other 32 members of his squad. But at the time, they weren't sure they'd come back alive, and they didn't believe the government's assurances. The TV was saying there was no meltdown, no radiation leaks, nothing to worry about, he recalls. When you saw the damage, you knew this was no ordinary accident. The plant's operator says it's on schedule for a cold shutdown by the end of this year. That's when fuel has cooled enough to no longer pose a threat. But it's a long process. Dismantling the reactor and cleaning up the plant could take 30 years. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Tokyo.